Shoppers in Claiborne County spent the holiday weekend cleaning up after an EF2 tornado ripped through the area. Down power lines and trees still cover the community. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with those working through a labor of love to clean up what the storm left behind. After the tornado hit, this street was filled with limbs and debris. Now you can see it is picked up, but the work still continues. Side by side video shows the difference just six days of constant cleanup made on this neighborhood in Cleburne County. Oh, it was overwhelming. Tim Nance owns these rental properties and says just moments after the tornado roared through, tree companies, electricians, and volunteers filled this street. Oh, there's people I didn't know was here. You don't know how people, you know, you don't know if they even like you. And all of a sudden, they're everywhere, and so I guess they do. Nance says they are in the final stretch of clearing limbs and making repairs. We've still got a lot of electric poles that are busted and wallered out around. And we've got four piles burning and one to go. We've still got uh, stumps and root wads we don't know what to do with. Just one street over. This family doesn't know if they'll even be able to rebuild. We couldn't come through here, so we had to come out of the hole there, go under the steps and fight our way out through there, and it was raining golly. Charles Bennett says he and his wife have lived in this home more than 30 years. Now he's spending his days searching for pieces of their life together. Fishing's the most stuff for her. He says where this tree now sits was his wife's favorite room in the house. Pictures of all the kids and grandkids. That room was just treasure house. House of memories. And uh, she had the big, great, big family Bible we'd bought when we were first married. It was in there. It's hard to imagine anything is salvageable, but when Bennett squeezed through, you'll never guess what he found. All of her pictures, the glass wasn't even broken. The Bible had stayed underneath something, maybe the top of the coffee table. It wasn't wet. All of these things left. He says it can only be explained one way. Boy, when you're spiritual, low, the Lord really blesses you. Bennett and his wife are now staying with family. He does say they would like to rebuild. They're just waiting for the insurance adjuster to see if that will be a possibility.